The title of this one is uh, If Tokyo Drift Was on Guitar. He had a show in Tokyo pretty recently. I think it was like six or seven days ago. I'm not going to react to that one because it's so new. But I'm enjoying my time uh, reacting to Marchine and, and, and giving my thoughts on music. If you guys still want to see that, by all means, just let me know. I'm just having fun hanging out with you guys. Let's hear this. I want to hear. I have not heard this yet. <laughs> in an art studio i see like uh i saw some like vases in the background they're vases right vase vase whatever um not sure if that's his or if that, I, I i can't place it right now off the top of my head let me know in the comments if it's uh from something that i'm just not picking up on right now he's so smooth he's just so smooth on the guitar i know there's a lot of pro guitars players out there that are smooth and they're fun to watch too but i don't know just this the style that this guy used really just uh really it's really grabbing me by the chumbles right now i don't know it's just good to see people still trying to learn an instrument, you know? I, I mean, that's kind of the way I look at it. In, in today's society, we've, and I'm not saying it's necessarily a bad thing, but you have musicians, in quotations, that will use, like, iPad and, you know, sample. Uh, I can't remember what they're called off the top of my head. My son wanted one. It was, a, it's like a soundboard, and it's got different buttons, and they samples and beats, and you could... You can program beats in it and you just kind of push buttons. Kind of like what DJs used to use back in the day, sort of. But a, but a better version. And I'm trying to think of the damn name of those things. But anyways, I just call them push-button musicians. They don't learn an instrument. They don't learn how to read and write. They just sample, 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 and push their finger on a piano until they hear sounds they like, which is perfectly valid. If you can't read and you can't write music, that's a way around it. it it's better that people are playing music at all than not playing music, but... but what I'm saying is, is that it's nice to see somebody try to learn a skill, as in like playing an instrument, whether it's saxophone or guitar or the violin. Drums are a good one. That's an that's an easy, not an easy one, but that's that's one I would always suggest. <laughs> piano, piano. You know, I learned the piano years ago. I hated every second of it because I got forced to go to these uh, lessons in learning how to read and write music. And at the time, I didn't appreciate it because I, I just wanted to do my own thing. I wanted to learn how to play guitar and drums. And they, my family wanted me to learn how to play the piano. So I learned how to play that because they, you know, really wanted me to be like a, I don't know, like a, like a concert pianist or something. That just wasn't my thing, man. But I'm glad I have the skill. No matter who you are, should at least give it a shot and see if it's something you like. Like learn how to play an instrument of some sort. It's good for you. It's good for your soul. I think. Yeah, I'm not saying everybody has to. I guess I, I would, that, that's dumb. We got to kind of get away. Like these tools that we use, like the computer and the iPad and all these push button things are fun to use. I have a few, I have a few items that I use. You know, it does make the process of making music easier, but they're, they should be used as tools, you know, in order to make the music, but not be the music itself. Does that make sense? Because then you're not, are you even writing the music at that point? Is it even you? You know, and it's mostly the machine doing the work and not you. Did you write that? At least that, that's how I see it. And I know that could be controversial. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate people who aren't necessarily good at playing an instrument that put something together that's got a nice melody and stuff like that. Like, great. I love that. You keep doing your thing. But at the same time, you know, I hope that they realize that there's a whole nother world out there of you know being able to read and write and speak the language of music right and we could talk about that in another video that's another video i want to make i mean i could sit down with somebody who speaks japanese and doesn't speak a lick of english and we could both look at the same piece of music and, and play it together like it doesn't it doesn't matter i still gotta watch that interview don't worry i i, I remember somebody commenting on that but that's that till we meet again